welcome ladies and gentlemen to the next episode of Dark and Light. And uh, yeah, so there's been a few changes um, which you probably expect. Uh, what do I need here? I need mithril and iron to do them. Uh, do I have 35 mithril? As you can see as well, there has been some changes. I'll, I will explain them in a second. I've just got to try and see if I have enough mithril ingots, which I don't. Cause my mithril leggings. Ah, uh, yeah, they're smashed. They're gone. They're broke. So I'm going to have to create some copper leggings for the time being. So I'm going to do them in here. No, that, I don't mind this look. Oh, God's sake, game. I don't mind this look, you know. Looks like I'm kind of wearing a short skirt here. It's quite a nice look for a female, but that's just being pervy in my eyes. <laughs> uh, anyway, so let's put these on. We need protection more than perviness. So let's put these on. Thank you. That's nice. That's Oh, that's no different. That's actually no different. Okay, that's fine. Right. Anyway, um, so yeah, so we've got a few things to do today. So, first of all, let's explain about the base. Okay, so doing this stone stuff, which looks really nice. I do. Shut up. Think. Right. I do love this stone stuff. This stone building is really nice. You know, the materials. Um, but I haven't finished this place off. I started it because this is really grindy. Uh, it requires a lot of copper ingots and. A lot of stone, so yeah, it's really grinding, but it is worth it, I think, in the end. Um, but we got to finish this off. I want to finish off doing the roof, so the ceiling part here, the part of the second floor, the floor of the second floor, should I say. Um, I want to stretch that right across to here today, um, and obviously I need to extend this up one more and put a. I want to put some sort of like peak roof on that as well. So I've got to do that today, and I've got to finish this part off as well. I've got to do the roof, replace the roof, and the um, side panels there. That's going to be done, and I'm going to leave this wood. I'm not really worried, it's only a furnished room. Um, but if it does end up winding me up eventually, then I will change it. But at the moment, we're going to leave it. Okay, so we're going to do this. We're going to start off the episode with this. Um, we've also... Well, then we will move on to... I got to make a summoning pool because I was off doing a tiny little exploring last night, um, just leveling up the one of the bears, the highest level bear I think I got. Because the end of last episode, we kind of ran past a level uh, seventy odd bear, so I tamed that one up and uh, off camera and um, and uh, yeah, kind of leveled them up to about one. I think about 130 and that, but I lost him. But I managed to put him inside a summoning stone before I did. And he's level. What level did I put him in, in here? Does it tell me? Uh, pet tame level 89, 203. So I think it's random level you get, but we'll get the bear back anyway. Um, so yeah, so we've got to make a summoning pool. And the summoning pool will be going behind here on this section here. We've got the summoning pool here where we can summon the bear in. And then we're going to go out and do some taming. And I've got plans of taming some elementals today. Um, we're going to start with a water elemental. Uh, this episode. And then... I don't think I've unlocked the next... The next summon stone. Uh, taming. No, I haven't yet. Soul suppression stone. Um, so once I unlock this, then we can tame other things like... Wind elementals, earth elementals, fire elementals, things like that. But my plan is to get a light elemental today. I'm um, sorry, water elemental today. This episode, and if we have time, I'm thinking about going either getting an ice imp or a fire imp. Probably be an ice imp because I know where they are, and uh, they're a bit easier than fire imps. So yeah, so that's the plan for today's episode, ladies and gentlemen. And uh, and yeah, so let's crack on. Let's get this done, and I also will say I do apologise if this video was a tiny bit framey at the beginning. Um, I'm trying to upload, at this point in time, I'm trying to upload uh, episode, I think it's the episode before this one, I'm trying to load, or it could be the episode before that. Um, but I'm trying to upload to YouTube, and it's kind of sucking the CPU a bit, so... So I do apologise if this content looks framey. The game's running smoothly. I'm getting like 70, 70 odd frames. 
Um, well, 75 to be exact, but yeah, so uh, I do apologise if the video is framey, but just bear, just bear with it, it will smooth out eventually. Okay, so let's get on with it. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I've finished grinding the resources that I think I need. I think I've got the final lot here. And um, yeah, so we're nearly done. Uh, but I just want to show you something. So here is a level 32 tree. Now, I have a hammer here. Okay, so it's a craftable iron hammer, 75 damage, plus, of course, my. Attack damage is at 214.5%. And uh, yeah, so I just want to show you how OP this hammer is. Okay, so watch. There. That's how OP that hammer is. So that's only level 32, mind you. But yeah, it. Uh, it takes down these things pretty easy. Pretty easy, you know. And these are meant to be like the titans of the world. Oh, I just got a seed from that. I'm right inside. Look at that visual glitch. Look at that. I'm part of the tree. I'm part of the tree. Part of the tree. Part of the crew. <laughs> Pirates of the Caribbean reference. Right, um, so I'm going to finish harvesting this. And then we'll head up there and uh, finish off the base. We are going to do this together. This seems to be taking its time. Uh, let's try to pick. Just some more of those seeds. I don't know what seeds they are. I'm going to have to plant them. But that visual clip, look at that. That's mad. Never seen that before. Ah, right, thank you. Right. I grabbed the panther. Let's go back up to base. Let's get these final bits crafted up and uh, finish off this base. I've got enough resources as well to build the summoning pool. So we'll get that in. And then move on to the next part. Light blossom. I've got light blossom seeds and dark weed seeds. It's, a, it's staring at you. Plant it in a large field to produce a dark tentacle. Hmm, okay. Well, 
I'm gonna have to try that out then, don't I? Uh, why am I trying to put it in there? It's full. Yeah, let's, let's work up this away. Let's come here, put that away. And magic shards go in here. And then down here, we need that one. That one. This should be enough. I'm hoping it's enough. Uh, so, I've got the ceilings there. They're done. I've got the roof, part of the roof there. I need that bit. And then I need walls. Uh, how many walls do I need? I don't want to make all eight if I don't need all eight. Okay, I probably will need all eight. <laughs> yeah. So let's craft all eight of them. Oh, I need one of them as well. Hang on. Uh, one of them as well. Right, so... It's a bit of, I, I like to, when I do my builds, um, I like to do a fucking game. I like to do like something different each time I do a house or do a building or do a base. I like to do something different each time and experiment. Um, so that's what I've done here. So we've got this like little balcony here and this is where I'm going to be landing birds. Um, I plan on like landing birds here. This part here is where we're going to walk out to here and etc. Oh, excuse me. So I'm going to put like a door here. You know, a little outcroppy part there. Uh, you got a wall there, and of course you got the ceiling, and that. So you got a slanted roof here and slanted roof there. Just something different, and then of course you got this part here, which is where we're doing the magic, where we keep all our magic and thermocraft and all that in there, and potion making stuff. So yeah, so this is what I've planned. So oh my god, this game. So let's get the ceilings in. Uh, four should be the exact amount. Yep. Even though I've got eight, but never mind. Uh, then I want. I don't even want these ceilings. Why do I got the ceilings? Why do I get them? Why do I, why do I get them? I don't even need them. No, I need walls. <laughs> I need walls. So I can put it that way. I do need one ceiling. So let's take one. Um, I need them now. I need that. And then I'm going to use that. And I think that is everything. Might need to quickly make a couple more walls. But we'll find out in a second. Oh. And then one goes there. And there, so yeah, I need to make two more. Jesus Christ, this game! Two more walls. Do I need stone or do I need copper? I need stone. All right, okay. Um, I'm going back and forth, back and forth. So I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible because, of course, schedule. Uh, that's in. This one here will go. Wrong button. That one will go there. Uh, that will go on top when it lets me, like that. Then I just need two walls, one more there, one more there. And then that's a little outcrop done. So I just need to grab some stone. So let's go and grab some stone. So let's take that one, that one. Oh, what? Oh, is that because of the ceiling? It might be because of the ceiling. No, it might be because of the roof then. Crap. Well, that's not what I had in, I had in mind. Yeah, it's because of the roof. Damn. Okay, well, I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to do this part here. Actually, I just might leave it like that. I might just leave it like that. I can't be I can't be asked to fiddle around with that. You know? This stuff is very expensive. Uh, and this isn't even the final tier. You know, there's, there's tiers after this. 
And this stuff's expensive alone, so I don't really wanna... Which way is this going? Yeah, that's it. So I need one more of them. One more of them. So yeah, I don't really wanna f mess around too much. I'll leave it like it is. It's not as though I'm worried about people getting in. You know, this is a uh, basically a solo play. Online's worse than solo play for bugs and glitches and stuff. So, but there. So, I've said that like four times now. How many times I say so? <laughs> but anyway, that's the base as finished as I can get it. Um, you know, it would do us. It looks lovely. Something different, sturdy. So if we ever get attacked. But yeah, so uh, the next thing I will be doing to the base um, in future episodes, once I've unlocked it, is I want to put a wall, like blocking off like this section, um, and then you know, basically just block off sections that animals can get up, because I don't want to be here one day and get get attacked by things. Um, so I need to protect that. Uh, next thing we need to do is summoning pool. Uh, before I do that, I do have a task task to make a summoning pool which is taming elementals or craft summoning conventional pool conventional taming methods work great for conventional beasts however creatures born of magical energies require a special touch okay so once i create this that would clear that we are ready to go out and tame I've got soul stones, I've got my bow, I've got my hammer. And, uh, and yeah, well, there has been a little problem because I was going to take the panther. The panther died. Um, so, yeah, I've got to uh, now revive the panther. But that's not the problem. That's not the problem at all. Oh, I'll come back because I'm full. Thank you. And then put, uh, oh, God's sake, game, really. Throwing things around. Fine. Okay. So, the plan was to go and tame a water elemental, but I forgot you need normal soul stones for the water elemental. Not these small ones, you need just the normal, the normal ones, which we haven't unlocked as of yet. So, we need to get to. Well, we need to get to level 6, rank 6. We need to. Uh, craft hook arrows, craft taming items, etc. So I'm going to have to get to that off camera and do hopefully try and get that done before the next episode. Then we go tame a water elemental. Because that was my plan, to tame a water elemental and then maybe an ice imp. Um, but yeah, water elemental is not going to be a way, or not going to be done today. Unfortunately, and I, I do apologise for that. So, um, so what we can do is we can go out and tame... Or go and find an ice imp, tame a couple of ice imps, and maybe go and try to find some fire imps and uh, tame them as well. Well, hopefully tame them. Only problem is the only flyer I have is this Barunda, and they are pretty useless when it comes to fighting things. So I'm going to have to use it to fly to the locations, try and hide somewhere. And uh, then, you know, try and hide the bird somewhere, then fight the thing on my lonesome. <laughs> and then uh, then try and tame it. Now, this is where the wheel. Ah, oh, okay. Um, talk about a devil and shall appear. There's one right in front of me. But there is a lot of bad ombres around here. There's actually three here. Four here. Might be able to tame all these, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, an army of ice imps. There is a lot of bad things around this area, and plus we have the cold effect. So we've got a funny feeling we might end up losing the Barunda. If we do, I'm not fussed. They were just the like the cheap first flyers. Um. Okay. All of a sudden, a load of noise just hit me. So I hope you can hear me alright. I hope you can hear me alright. So there's a ice imp there. Two down there. And there is a shit ton of bears. We have an ice golem there as well. Or ice elemental. There's one down there as well. There is a shit ton of bears. Well that ice imp's gone. Uh, that ice imp's gone. 
yeah, this isn't going to be easy. This is not going to be... Look, look at the... Look, aggro range on bears. This is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Hoping they can't climb up here. So hopefully they de -aggro. So we're going to go after this ice imp here. But I need to kind of land somewhere where I can get back to my bird. And the bird don't die, obviously. So I'm thinking here. I'm stuck on the bird. Nice. Oh, this is, I'm not looking forward to this. So I can see the bird going. Bye bye. Okay, so this is only little level 12. So it's only a little one. Uh, we are going to use a rune of warmth. And here we go. This might end up killing me, to be honest with you. I should just use one of them as well. Oh, crap, yeah. i got to watch his health. Okay, so that should be enough. Okay, we got it. The bear can finish him off. I'm getting out of here. Okay, so we just managed to suppress our first soul. And level only a little level twelve. That's fine, I've got plenty more soul stones here, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go and find some more. And hopefully the bigger levels as well. Hopefully bigger levels as well. Now, I know I said maybe we'll tame some as did that one take all three no, no way did that one take all three bears out. There's no way, is there? Because that bear just took out an ice elemental. So if this one little imp did that, this is going to be a high level. 76, yeah, that is high level. I don't feel safe here, though. Hmm. Yeah, it's 56, yeah. Whoa. There's a nice element over there. There's a nice wolf there as well. Maybe that could be something we tame up next episode. Try and drag these bears all the way down here, look. <laughs> Let's have a look at this ice elemental. Um, ice elemental. Ice, uh, ice imp. Again, level 12. Oh, what level are you, boy? What level are you? 76. That's a nice level. Um, but we're not here for that at the moment. I didn't bring things to tame that sort of thing. Still two bears up here. <sighs> Need to get this area safe. Need to get this area safe. My health. Holy crap. No, wrong button. Hello bears. Ow. You hit me bear. Where are they both on me or is it just one? <clears throat> okay. So this one here might do us some damage. This might be a struggle. But again, I've also got to watch out for those bears over there. And hopefully I don't get stuck on this mountain. Here we go. Oh, come on. Here's the bloody thing. Okay, four. Thank you. Get out of here before he kills us. Ooh. Nice. Problem is, I... Uh, do, I do I worry about killing him? I wonder if I can drag him down here with the bears. Get him involved in this fight. Come on, you. That was a level 76, wasn't it? That was the right one. Yes, 76. Look at that. Nice. Ha ha ha. Goodbye. Right, we have two more. Let's see if we can go find some more. I want an army of these things. I want an army. Might end up going through all these freaking health regeneration potions though, but never mind. That's what they're there for. Alright, don't see no more here. Oh, okay. Found a couple of more simps. Not ideal for us. Um, but I've also found where the Yetis are. The Yetis. Oh, 
That snowball was a little bit close for comfort. Go away. Try to admire you. Oh, I really want one of those things. I really want one of those things. Okay, but yeah, they're fighting and fighting an ice imp. So that ice imp's no good. There's an ice imp here. Ooh, what's level 100? A level 100 ice imp. Are these on me? Well, they're about to go goodbye bye. Come on. And you. Fall down here. Hello, and you. Oh, no, 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 you. No, don't go. Oh, he's on me. Damn, he's on me. He's on me. That's not what I had in mind. I didn't want to do that. Because I don't know how I'm going to. I can't exactly jump off here and bash his brains out. So what I could do is try and lure this one. Hello? Come down here, little one. If I could try and lure this thing to where you can't get hold of us. That's it, like that. Hopefully you stay there. And then we can land up here, close to this wall. This could be dangerous. This could be pushing it. We'll soon find out. Soulstone ready. I don't need that one. Soulstone is ready. Where's the imp gone to? Oh, crap. Where'd he go? Oh, I don't say he follows me as well. Oh, he's there. He's there. He's there. Hello, Mr. Impy. Oh, crap. I don't think we're going to get up there. Come on! This jumping around man is driving me nuts. I ain't gonna be able to get back up here, am I? Oh yeah, I can. Nice. Oh crap, it's right there. Okay, I'm gonna do, do one more bash. Thank you. Fly! Fly! No! Oh my god, we're gonna... Why? 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 <laughs> Why? Don't you? This is gonna be the end. Um, the Ice Imp is about to be ready. It's about to revive. And uh, yeah, so this is took about... I think 45 minutes, 30 minutes, 45 minutes to actually revive. And then, of course, it took further... I don't know how long trying to... Uh, gather the materials for it. Okay, so... There we have our first ice imp, our first elemental. And uh, we can ride it. <clears throat> it's more like we become it, not ride it, we become it. But uh, yeah, so this here is. Yeah, have you seen. <laughs> I, don't know, I haven't seen that before. Um, yeah, if you look, look, look at that, that what? Uh, we're, uh, the, the ice imp's shitting us out there, that. Uh, the ice imp's just us out there. Uh, great. But anyway. <laughs> so yeah. So what do we have? We have uh, left click does uh, like a shoulder bash thing. And uh, right click does 
Whatever that is. But he's tired already. He's out of stamina. Um, I would test it out on something. Uh, unless there's a sheep around here. I would test it out on something. But it'll probably end up killing us. Oh, what's that over there? Is that a sheep or is that something bad? There's a sheep. There's a couple of sheep. Let's try it out on the sheep. So, left click. 41. I kill both of them. But there's 41 damage. Ah, oh, what? Oh, okay. Are you gonna... Is he gonna get himself out of there? Thank you. Okay, and right click does 41 damage as well. But of course, there's no harvesting. Um, uh, I'm stuck. Ah. <laughs> okay. Hello. Okay. All right. Let's actually just try and get out of here. Hang on. Yeah. So that's fine. It's weird though. It's I'm literally sat in its ass. Literally sat in its ass. Uh, so you can also produce ice cubes on this thing, but you need 50 magic shards and uh, one glass bottle. Um, I don't know if it produces quicker than... Is it following me still? No, it's not. Does it do it quicker than a magic workbench does? So a magic workbench, let's have a look. So let's grab two. Uh, I'm going to grab an empty... Actually, this. Now I'm back. I'll grab an empty one. So let's go and grab 60 magic shards here. A minute. I'll go grab 60 magic shards. Then we we'll do a little experiment to end this episode. Um, but whilst we're grabbing them, um, if you have enjoyed this episode um, of taming a ice imp and upgrading to stone, uh, please slash that thumbs up button. And if you're new to the channel and you like will you uh, what you see, please subscribe and show your support as well. It is appreciated. Uh, next episode, we are going to go out and we are going to tame a wyvern and we're going to try and find another frost wolf and hopefully tame uh, a frost wolf and a wyvern. The wyvern I'm not looking forward to because the wyverns are pretty pussy-ish in this game. Um, you stick, well, you attack them in any way, whether it be with a hook arrow, normal arrow, whatever. They just fly away, they don't attack you back. Um, so yeah, I've got to try and work out between episodes. I've got to try and work out how I'm going to do, be able to do that. So there might we might have I might already have a wyvern teamed up um, when you come when you know when you watch the next episode. But that's just because I'm trying to experiment to see which is the best way to stop them flying away. It's not too bad if the small levels, but with a wyvern, I kind of, well, with flows, I kind of want a big level, big level wyvern, so it's got good stamina, got good attack, and uh, yeah, so we can start using that as our main flyer. Until, of course, Griffin's up and running. Um, so yeah, without without further ado, let's, uh, or with that in mind, let's try this out. So I'm going to put the magic shards in there, I've got to fill this water bottle up. Let's do this little experiment. Oh, I'll just press the wrong button. But, uh, mind. So fill that one up. So we have two glass jars filled with water and 30. <coughs> pardon me. <coughs> uh, 30 uh, magic shot. Well, we have 50 in there, but never mind. Um, so to craft 10, which is two lots. Let's see how long it takes. So it's about three seconds. It's about three seconds to craft ten. Well, I'm sorry, three seconds per five. And let's have a look what it's like to craft in here. So it's about the same again. You get ten. So there's no difference. So whether you use your magic workbench or you use the ice imp, there is no, <coughs> pardon me, <coughs> excuse me, Jesus, uh, no difference in crafting ice. 
be so much better if, obviously if you had if say for instance this ice engram didn't require magic shards and just you just put balls in the turns twice like you would have thought it would but anyway so yeah so this has been dark and light we've done a lot today you know we've tamed ice imp there well we tamed actually quite a few ice imps or captured the souls of the ice imps and um We've also upgraded our other base to stone. Made that look pretty. And uh, yeah, so thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to have fun, keep gaming, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye!